I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win. I'll take a stab, I want to chase a bag. I want to way I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste and that. Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch. Toyota announces recall of 168,000 pickup trucks due to fire risk. The Toyota Tundra is one of the best-selling pickup trucks in the United States, U.S. Toyota managed to sell 32,084 units of the Tundra during the second quarter of 2023, compared to 21,673 units in the second 2022, this represents a significant percentage increase of 48.16%. Unfortunately, Toyota has just announced a recall of around 168,000 of these pickup trucks in the United States due to the possible fire risk. The affected Tundra models are production in 2022 and 2023. This recall was carried out because a problem was found with the plastic fuel hose on the truck which could potentially leak. This problem is likely to occur when the plastic fuel hose comes into contact with adjacent brake lines. Under certain conditions, contact between the hose and brake lines can cause fuel to leak, which in turn can become a source of ignition and potentially cause a fire. Citing an official statement from the Japanese automaker, quoted from Car Scoops, August 16, Toyota will replace the plastic fuel hoses on each affected truck with improved parts and provide new clamps. However, this statement does not go into detail on how the upgraded component differs from the previous one. This new clamp is claimed as an additional safety measure to prevent direct contact between the fuel hose and the brake lines. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them Interestingly, this improved part was not ready for use as a whole. Therefore, Toyota will mitigate safety risks by instructing dealers to install protective materials while final replacement parts become available. And more importantly, this process will not cost the affected pickup truck owners any costs. Toyota is committed to notifying truck owners affected by the recall by October this year. However, what is not clear is how Toyota knew about this potential safety issue without any official publicly accessible document from the NHTSA, United States National Highway Safety Agency, for now. Typically, the recall documents released by the agency include information on what caused the problem and whether any accidents or injuries have occurred as a result. Pickup truck owners there who are worried whether their vehicle will be affected by this recall or not, can call Toyota at 800-331-4331. In addition, they can also search for more information through the NHTSA's online database by using their vehicle identification number, VIN, on the NHTSA.gov website. Want a reality?